else. Today I'm going to be showing you a proper beta fish setup. Like this is like if you really want to keep your beta in like a completely, totally like proper setup. So I'm going to be showing you what that would look like and kind of what you need and the expense of that setup. So, let's get so here's the proper tank setup, and it is a 10 gallon aquarium. You can get 10 gallons at pretty much every pet store. They range from around 15 to 20 dollars. I got this one off Craigslist for about 20 dollars, including a whole bunch of sand and decoration. Now you can check out Craigslist or garage sales, and then usually they have fish tanks for a really good deal. So after you've purchased your tank, you want to get a hood, and usually you can get a hood for around $30 and they are quite expensive but make sure you get one that will fit your fish tank. You can also get 10 gallon fish tank kits which come with a filter, heater, hood and tank which is around $45 to $65. If you don't get the kit you'll want a heater and usually the heaters are a little bit more expensive. I think this one I have in this tank is about $20 to $30. And then, I'm not really sure where I got my filter. I think I got it at Walmart for about $10. The next thing I want to focus on is the substrate as it keeps all the beneficial bacteria in the tank. Usually you can get a bag of sand at pet any pet store for around $5. I usually go with black sand as it's really easy to clean and it, you can really see the beta well up against the black. Next thing I want to focus on are plants and you'll only want silk plants for your fish tank as if you're getting a beta they do have really sensitive fins and they rip very easily so the silk plants are quite a bit more expensive than the regular plants but I got a few packs that all these plants came in, a, in separate packs but each pack is about twelve to ten dollars. Next thing I'm going to want to focus on are decorations or hideaways. So I have this small cave here which I got for $12 at PetSmart. And this small um, Buddha decoration I got at my local fish store for about $12. The next thing I have in here, and this is totally like, you don't have to get this, but it's a marimba moss ball and I have two of them in here. and. They're usually not that expensive, you can get them at most pet stores for around $7. So now that we've gone through the basic setup of what you'll need, we'll have to go through the little stuff that you'll probably need and the stuff you'll totally need. Thermometer for your beta fish tank to monitor the temperature at all times. So this is a simple thermometer I got at Walmart for about $150 to $2. One of the most important things you'll need is a water siphon to clean the fish tank. And I got this one at Petco for around $15, $20. These are the final but probably the most important things you'll need when fish keeping. But water conditioner and I use Prime. This was $8 at Petco. Stress coat. This was about $12 at Petco and it comes in this very large bottle. Neutral regulator and this adjusts. Um, the water to 7.0, which is preferred for a beta fish tank. I have this Freshwater Master Test Kit, and this was about $40, $30 at Petco, and it comes with all the test kits you'll need, plus little test tubes and the instructions. That's pretty much it for a proper beta fish setup, and the round the total is probably a little over $100, so about $150. Keeping a beta fish is quite expensive if you want the full setup of a proper beta fish tank, but you don't have to do this whole thing, like you can get a 5 gallon, 2.5 gallon, okay, but make sure you eventually upgrade to a bigger tank if you're getting a 2.5 gallon. So that was it for this video guys, please like, comment, and subscribe to Bella and Betas, and make sure to check out my last video I made a couple days ago showing my new beta and kind of the tank setup and what I got. Also, I'm aware that my videos are like really cringy and bad, but I'm going to try to make these videos get a little bit better over time. So thank you for sticking around. Thanks for watching, guys.